Welcome back guys, it's Minor Digi and we're gonna do something a little bit different in this video. So as you all know, and as we're all pretty much aware, the cryptocurrencies and the mining is not profitable at this point just because of the price and how much power, but we've gone through all of that in all of our prior videos. Today, we're gonna to switch it up a little bit different and we're gonna do something a little bit out of the box. So we're gonna take all of our old Bitcoin and Ethereum and cryptocurrency mining hardware, as you guys see right here, and we're gonna go ahead and make it into a super PC for you or your kids to use. All right, now this is simple. I'll go over everything that we need. Again, guys, please like this video, subscribe to the channel so I can bring you guys more content on a daily basis. I know it's been a while since I've reached out and done a video with you guys. I've just been extremely busy, but now I'm gonna get back into more videos for you guys. So let's go ahead and start it off with this. And also, guys, please comment and tell me some different videos to do in the details below, all right? So let's go ahead and start. The uh, only thing that I did order that we didn't already have from our old Bitcoin mining hardware um, or cryptocurrency mining hardware was the case. So this is just a regular size ATX gaming case. The reason that I went with the gaming case is because it was a little bit bigger and I thought I might want to put more than one GPU in there since I still have a couple left. All right, so let's go ahead and describe everything else and all the parts that you're going to need. You're gonna need a power supply. I'm using the EVGA 1300 watt power supply. You guys can use anything that you would like. Obviously, the better rating, if it's a gold compared to a bronze, it's gonna be more efficient. You know, if you don't know anything about the power supplies, I have a power supply video. If you look through my content, and it will describe differences of power supplies and which one you should use. Now the next thing you're gonna need is a hard drive. We're just using a regular SATA SATA hard drive. This is 320 gigabytes, this is right here. Now we're also using the Red Devil RX 580 graphics processing unit. This is your GPU that we're gonna go ahead and install to make this a nice or a decent gaming computer. We also have our mouse and keyboard as well as a wireless adapter for your motherboard. This is in case that there's an issue with a component when you're building your computer and you can't get to hook up to the screen yet, so you need to diagnose it some other way. This is what's gonna help you, basically Morse code. Now the next thing that we're gonna need or that you're gonna need if you don't already have it is gonna be a motherboard. I'm using the H81 Pro BTC. You guys can see this is extremely dusty. This was used in my old mining equipment but we'll go over cleaning that very quickly just so you guys can use your old equipment as well. The, I'm also using eight gigabytes right here of TimeTech uh, DDR3 RAM. Now this is decent RAM. You can put more if you would like, but this will, do, this will be sufficient to get you started. The miscellaneous power cables and cords and connectors Everything's here. We'll go over these as we're doing the build. Next thing you're gonna need is a screwdriver, very simple. Since we're using older equipment, if you're not using older equipment, you don't really need this, but this is a compressed air gun to clean out all of that dust and any of those contaminants that are in there that we wanna get rid of. Go ahead and throw some music on, build this computer in front of you so you guys can see. Again, if you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so I can bring you guys more videos about an array of different technological advances that are coming out, as well as some how-to videos like I've done previously. So we're not changing the channel completely, but we're definitely adding on to it.
right, so we went ahead and finished the build out. Now you see that the machine is completely done. I have installed Windows 10 just to make sure that everything was running fine. It did install properly and everything is working very well. So let's go ahead and boot this up real quick just to show you that it is working and how this new PC case works. Relatively quiet. There it is guys. So I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. For now, Digi out.